Hi guys, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the seeds that I'm going to be sowing for my allotment garden in April. So April is here and that means it's officially seed sowing season and you might be incredibly overwhelmed at that or you might be really excited. If you're overwhelmed, don't worry, I always get a bit overwhelmed at this time of year too and I've been in my allotment plot for nearly four years. There seems to be so much to sow and so much advice on when to sow it and how to sow it and how far ahead you should be with all your seed sowing. The truth is that if you plant things later, they tend to catch up. If you plant things earlier, you need more room to be able to keep them earlier. So if you've been sowing things in February, you might find that greenhouses and your windowsills at home are already completely filled up with seeds. That's fine, so you need to stick with those ones, maybe don't plant any more just yet until they're outside. But April is the month where we can start direct sowing a few more things and getting some of our things outside into the garden. I say that with caution because we still do get some frost at this time of year, so it's a good idea to invest in some fleece or some cloche. Make sure that you're keeping seedlings protected from any frost that we're going to get randomly overnight. It looks like the weather's heating up but just stay cautious because you never know in this country anymore when we're going to get frost and when it's going to be lovely and warm. <laughs> so there are a few things that I have already sown um, and if you haven't already done this um, because I sowed this stuff in March if you haven't already sown it April's a great time to do it as well you can get going early April kind of first two weeks of April. Um, so the things that I have already sown include tomato plants, Cosmos, which is such a beautiful flower, I'd really recommend it. Celery, which has germinated, amazing. I've got uh, more sweet peas that I've already pinched out and they're sitting there waiting to go out. I've also got some leeks growing and I've planted in my courgettes. I've got two types, so I have a golden type of courgette, which is like a yellow courgette and a green courgette which is your standard typical bog standard courgette. Um, I'm only planning on planting out two courgette plants this year because otherwise you'll end up with about 15,000 courgettes. So if you really like courgettes go for it, plant more than two plants but I'm sticking with just two. These are the things that I'm going to be sowing throughout the rest of April and I'll get stuck in and show you what I'm going to be sowing. I have started a lot of my brassica plants. Brassicas are things like sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages. Um, I have started a few of those and they're ready to go out. The thing that didn't work was my Romanesco because it all got eaten by slugs and snails. So I'm gonna be sowing this again from seed this month. It's not too late to do this now. So if you haven't already sown your brassicas, you can do it. You can actually direct sow them into the soil outside. Just make sure you protect them with a cloche and also from slugs and snails. Um, which is going to be a big theme in this video because this time of year they're all out they know i'm also going to be sowing some more kohlrabi now i'm going to be starting this in modules and then transferring it to little pots and then planting it outside that's the way that i've heard is the best way of doing it i've done it before it's in my polytunnel it's growing really well it's such a beautiful vegetable and you just can't get this in supermarkets i don't think so this is a great one to start now in april indoors and of course you can start sowing out directly into the ground now as well and a couple of things I'm going to be putting in the ground at this time of year in April, beginning of April, are radishes. These are the um, sparkler ones. I've also got bright lights which I'm also already sown at my allotment plot and they're coming up beautifully. Radish is a cool loving plant so to get this in early April you're going to have a much better crop you're going to struggle with it as the weather warms up. So radish is a great thing to put out in the first couple of weeks of April particularly over the Easter weekend, that would be a great time to sow some radish. Also gonna whack out some more uh, lettuce. This can go directly outside. I've actually sown some directly in March and it's doing absolutely fine. This is the Lob Lobitus Green Cos. Cos is a lovely, lovely lettuce. It's so sweet, so delicious and it grows up. It doesn't grow into like a ball, it grows like up and it's just so lovely. This will be directly sown outside. It can go outside from March, so April, great time to stick lettuce in the ground. Something that I'm going to be sowing outside that I haven't done before is actually sow some herbs. Um, so I have got some basil, some chives and some parsley and this is going to be sown indoors in pots and then transferred and I'm going to try and grow this on. But I've never grown herbs before from seed so I'm really excited to do this and April is a great time to start this. And of course there are two things that I'm going to start towards the end of April. Now this is going to be probably the last week of April if I can hold on and that's going to be pumpkins. If you're growing any type of squash they really need warm weather but they need quite a long time to get growing basically before you stick them outside. You 
you want them to be big enough to protect themselves against slugs and snails um, and also to just be a little bit more hardy, a little bit stronger. So starting them at the end of April is a really good idea. I think personally a lot of people don't start until June I like to do it end of April I'm going to be sewing the Jack B Littles and the Baby Boos because they're going to climb over my pumpkin arch and I might also try some trombone chini which I know I think it's called that trombone chini or tromboncino um, which is a really incredible looking fruit I've never managed to grow it before but I might try that at the end of April as well so squash is going out towards the end of April so I thought what we'd do now is sow some sunflowers together. This sunflowers are such a great thing to do over the Easter with your kids and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing and showing you how I sow them. So the variety of sunflower that I am growing is the giant sunflower so these should be really big and really really beautiful. I'm sowing them into these 13 centimeter pots. I'm filling them up with some multi-purpose compost. They grow really great in this. And then I'm going to make two holes with my finger and put one seed in each hole. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that at least one of them germinates and grows. If both of them do germinate and grow really well, then I'm going to try my best to save both seeds and have double sunflowers. So I'm just going to pat them down to make sure that the soil gets really good contact with the seed. I'm going to label my pots, of course, give them a water and leave them on a sunny windowsill. And then I'm not going to plant them out into my allotment plot until kind of mid-May. So something else that I'm getting on with this April that actually I should have probably started at the end of March but didn't get round to is potting up my dahlias so that they can start to grow before I put them out into the ground. Dahlias love warmth, they don't tolerate any kind of frost so you do have to be really really careful when you put them out and even if I plant them out at the end of April beginning of May which is when I'm planning on doing it I'm still going to protect them a little bit just in case we get a little bit of frost because it will absolutely wipe them out. So I won't go through all the varieties that I brought because I have brought so many different daily varieties but the way that you treat them is all the same. So the bulbs look very very crazy, they kind of look like little octopuses which is just so strange. You've got all of the little tubers here that are hanging off and then these little bits here, these are the eyes. This is where your plant's going to come out from so what I'm going to do is pot them up wait for them to grow a little bit and then transfer them outside when the weather warms up. So just a pot about this size, it doesn't have to be too big, just so that the dahlia bulb is going to be able to fit in there okay and grow a little bit. I'm just going to use some multi-purpose compost, pop in our tuber, in it goes. There we go, and we can leave our little tuber eyes just sticking out the top a little bit there and then when I see nice growth I'll transfer them outside but for now they're going to stay on a nice sunny windowsill inside and I'm going to keep them watered and protected. So the advantage of potting them up first and then planting them out when they're bigger is that you'll get earlier flowers and you'll get flowers for longer and the plant will also be stronger. However, I don't have enough pots to plant out all the bulbs that I got. So some of them will be planted directly outside and I've had loads of success with that so don't get panicky about it but if you can and you have the room I suggest potting up some of your dahlias in April ready to plant out in early May. So just a couple of points to recap there, anything that you are sowing directly outside, carrots, radishes, lettuces, I would consider covering with a cloche or a fleece because we are still due some frost in April. So don't get too cocky with the nice sunny weather and the blue skies, cover those seedlings up. Secondly, make sure that you are big on slug and snail protection. I'm going to be doing a separate video on this so look out for it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you don't miss it. I'm going to be trying out all the different slug and snail protections, I know it's so frustrating when your crops get eaten really quickly after planting them out so stay tuned for that video and also just relax and enjoy the season because April is a really fun time all the spring bulbs are coming up it's so beautiful and don't get stressed don't get overwhelmed with sowing your seeds and you know what guys if you can't sow something from a seed go and buy it as a plug plant later on in the year and whack it in the ground as a plug plant I've done it plenty of times give it a go from seed if it doesn't work go and buy the plant. It's not cheating, it's just gardening. It's all just gardening. 
I hope this video helped you and if it did do subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up let me know some of the things that you are sewing in April below to give some other people some other ideas and to give me some ideas and I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye